The other day I was having breakfast with a friend and the topic came up. Would ChatGPT be able to pass a Microsoft certification exam? Well, now that Microsoft released free practice tests for Microsoft exams, we actually have a question bank that we can throw at it. So let's actually go give it a try. First of all, before I even start doing anything, I just want to say this is purely for research purposes. I do not encourage you to use chat gpt to do any of your microsoft exams they're all proctored so you shouldn't be able to do it anyway so this is just a fun experiment to see how chat gpt can apply to the world of it certifications by the way if you didn't see my previous video microsoft has now released practice tests or practice assessments for Microsoft certification. So we're actually going to be using the SC900 practice test for this video. So let's get started. The practice test actually has 50 different questions, but I think that will be too long for a video. So what we will do is just pick the first 10 and then based on that, we will see if it would have passed or not. And we're going to use the Microsoft exam score of 700 out of a thousand. So it needs to get seven out of 10, right? Okay. So our first question is select the answer that completes the sentence. Let's actually go here. Let's copy this into chat GPT here. Let's copy this as well. And then let's put choices. Let me type this properly and I will just copy all of the choices. Look, and I will just go with whatever chat GPT gives me. Now, let's see, what does it says? It says that the correct answer is number one, control, transparency, security, strong legal protections, no content based targeting and benefits to you. So this I think is actually the correct one. Let's do check your answer. The answer is correct. So it managed to get the first one right. Great. Now let's try for the second question. Where can you find independent audit reports and assessments of Microsoft cloud services? So now I know the answer is the service trust portal. Let me actually just put it like that, not even give it the choices. Let's see if it would get it. Okay, so it brings us to the trust center. Let's try, we don't have that option here. So let me just put the question and then let's give it the answers. Either the service trust portal, then the Microsoft cloud account manager. I don't even think that exists. Privacy.microsoft.com, that I think is a valid link but that's not where it should be and portal.azure.com probably not let's give it a send and yes the microsoft service trust portal is the correct answer where you can find independent audit reports and assessments of microsoft cloud services so let's double check check your answer it's correct so far it's two out of two Wow. Okay. Let's go to the next one. What are three types of controls used in Microsoft purview compliance manager? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. I think it's the first or the second one. Let's see what chat GPT gives me. It says it's number one. So let's select it check your answer the answer is incorrect so i knew i had a feeling about the third party one made no sense so this one it did get it wrong okay so it's at two out of three 
It doesn't have a passing score yet. It's at 66% now. Let's try for the fourth question here. Which type of compliance manager controls are used for Microsoft Cloud Services? Let's give it a send. Three, Microsoft Managed Controls are used for Microsoft Cloud Services in the Compliance Manager. So that's number three, Microsoft Managed Controls. Check the answer. This answer is correct. So it's at three out of four. Question number five, we're halfway through. Let's see. So in Microsoft Purview, what can you use to label items as regulatory records, maintain proof of item deletion, and export information about disposed items? I'm pretty sure it will go with number one on this one. There we go. So it went with number one. Check the answer. The answer is correct. Great, so we are at a four out of five correct now. Wow, so far it's doing pretty good. It only needs three more in order to pass this exam. Okay, so select the answer that, com that correctly completes the sentence. Microsoft Purview, Information Protection, and Data Lifecycle Management work together to answer choice data. So let me type it here and then I'll put answer choices underneath. Uh, let's see if we will actually understand it. Uh, it should be number one should be the correct answer here. If I remember correctly, because we're not backing up anything. Well, we could share information. Explore, protect, and backup again. We're not backing up anything. Let's still see if ChatGPT is able to understand my question. So Microsoft Purview Information Protection and Data Lifecycle Management work together too, and it actually took my answer choice and put it directly in there. It's crazy to me how it's able to actually understand the text that I'm giving it and then just fill in the answer. It's really good at that natural language processing. Let's see if it had the correct answer. It did. So it's at five out of six. Wow. Great, next. What can you use to prevent the inadvertent disclosure of sensitive information shared in Microsoft Teams? Let's give it a go. It should maybe give me number three. Microsoft Purview data loss prevention policies can be used to prevent disclosure of sensitive information in Teams. Let's see if it was correct. The answer is correct. So now X at six out of seven. If it gets one more correct, it would actually pass our 10 question exam. Let's go for number eight. What can be used to set up a unified data governance service that enables end-to-end -end data lineage? Let's give it a go. I think it's going to be Microsoft Purview. Let's see. It's still thinking a little bit. Will it be able to find this one? Or uh, did we hit? No, there we go. It took a while to... A think at it, but it went for number C, Microsoft Purview. That is the correct answer. We're actually at seven out of eight. Let's keep going for two more questions uh, just so we can see how far, how good would it really be? In Microsoft Purview, what can you use to detect a potential leak of sensitive data and theft of intellectual property. Ooh, this should be the last one, but I'm not going to say anything. Let's see, let's see what ChatGPT says. I'll go with whatever it says. It's going with insider risk management. So it went with the same answer like I did. Check our answer. Yes, we're at eight out of nine so far. Let's go to the last question we will do. Question 10, 
which type of policy can you use to prevent the user from sharing files with users in other departments? Let's go here. We can have a data loss prevention policy. We can have a, let's actually, I'm curious before I do that, let me actually just put it as free text. It already told me, wow. So I did not even mention purview. I did not even mention Microsoft 365. However, it told me that you can use a data loss prevention policy in Microsoft purview to prevent users from sharing files with uh, users in other departments. So let's see. Actually, this might not be the good one. I think it's an information barrier policy. That would be the good answer. Uh, according to me, that's what I would go for. Uh, let me, just before we finish this video, let me see if it changes its answer. If I give it the answer choices, will it say like, hey, I didn't think at this one? Or will it just keep uh, keep saying that it's a DLP policy is the correct answer? And maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out here in a few seconds if... Vlad was right or ChatGPT was right. Let's give it a second. A data loss, they say it's data loss prevention policy. I will select that, but it was information barrier policy. That was the correct one. DLP can prevent data loss, but information barrier is, is what you really use to prevent users from different departments from talking to each other. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. Now that uh, we have done our 10 questions, if this was a Microsoft certification, ChatGPT would have scored a really good 80% and it would have passed the exam. Okay, now we know if ever, at least for the fundamentals exams, if ChatGPT would simply get asked the questions, chances are that it would pass. What's your take on this? Please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to get more videos on certifications, Microsoft 365 and Power Platform, please subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I post new awesome content. Thank you very much for watching this video.